Question 12. Circle the approximate measurement. Now the first one we've got to talk about, because there are three questions here, we've got to talk about the length of a banana. Now when we're dealing with length, it's worth remembering that the smallest unit is millimetres, and then you need 10 of those to make a centimetre, and then you need 100 centimetres to make a metre, and then you need 1,000 metres to make a kilometre. So the smallest is millimetres, the biggest is kilometres. Now let's think about the units we've got here. I brought some pictures along to help. Let's think about two metres. Now two metres is about the height of your wardrobe in your bedroom. So we'll pop two metres next to the wardrobe. Now obviously a banana is not going to be as tall as your wardrobe, so let's cross out two metres. If two metres is too tall, then 20 metres is going to be like 10 of these wardrobes. So that's going to be way too tall, so 20 metres can go as well. Now then, we've got two centimetres. A two pence coin is about two centimetres wide, so we can pop the two pence coin there. But a banana is going to be a lot wider than a two centimetre, two pence coin. So two centimetres is going to be too short too small. The only two we've got left is we've got 20 centimetres and 2 millimetres. Well we did say that 2 millimetres is, is going to be the smallest one of all because millimetres is the smallest unit. So if 2 centimetres is too small then 2 millimetres is even smaller than that so 2 millimetres can go. And that only leaves the most approximate measurement and that would be 20 centimetres for the length of a banana. Moving on to an apple, well if ever you go on holiday, a lot of airlines and airports impose a 20 kilogram baggage limit, so your luggage cannot weigh over 20 kilograms. So just think of 20 kilograms as being a heavy suitcase. Now an apple is going to be much lighter than that, so 20 kilograms is way too heavy. If 20 kilograms is too heavy, then 200 kilograms is even bigger than that, so that's going to be too heavy as well. What else have we got in kilograms? We've got 2 kilograms here. Now, a bag of sugar from the supermarket normally weighs one kilogram. So two kilograms is two of these bags of sugar, which is why I put times two there. Now an apple is not going to be as heavy as a bag of sugar. So I'm talking about a full bag of sugar that's not being opened. So an apple is going to be lighter than that. So your two kilogram bag of sugar it's going to be too heavy as well. Now there's only two left. We've got two grams and two hundred grams. Two grams is actually really, really light. So the example of an object that's really light is a table tennis ball. Not the bats, just the ball. If ever you've held a table tennis ball, you'll know that it is really light. And a table tennis ball weighs somewhere between three to four grams. So if three to four grams is too light because obviously a table tennis ball is lighter than an apple then two grams is going to be too light as well so two grams is too light and the only one left is going to be the 200 grams so that's the most appropriate one for an apple okay moving on to the glass of fruit juice we've got two liters now then a lot of you will recognize two liters from a two liter bottle, maybe of Coke or squash or water or something like that. So two liters goes with this bottle. Very common in supermarkets. A lot of you will have parents who buy two liter bottles of liquid. Now two liters, you wouldn't have a glass of fruit juice that's two liters. That's way too big. So two liters can get crossed out. If 2 litres is too big, then 20 litres is also going to be too big. Now the next one to look at is a teaspoon. So think about the spoon that you get a tea bag out of your cup of tea with, or that you put a bit of sugar in with. Now a teaspoon is actually about 5 millilitres. So a teaspoon, we'll just write 5 millilitres on there. So a glass of fruit juice is going to be a lot more than 5 millilitres on a spoon. So 2 millilitres is not going to be anywhere near enough. So the only thing we've got left to choose from is 20 millilitres and 200 millilitres. Now think about what we just said about the teaspoon. If a teaspoon is 5 millilitres, 4 of these, 4 teaspoons, would be 20 millilitres. 
Now, would you really have a glass of fruit juice that's only got four teaspoons in it? Of course not. So 20 milliliters is not going to be enough either because it's four teaspoons. So the only one left is the most sensible one, and that is 200 milliliters. Just think about a can of Coke as well. Obviously, we've got a two liter bottle of Coke, but a, two, a, a can of Coke, and most cans that you buy from can machines or from the supermarket normally come in at about 330 milliliters. So a glass of fruit juice is over half of a can is probably what you'd have. So that's the most sensible measurement to go with.